Uh, no, will Harbaugh head to the pros? I don't think so. I, it, do you think? I mean, we talked about I, this I, last I, week. I think, look, we none, none of us know. That's the truth. But to be my my personal opinion, I, I think this is a. I think this is a power play for more money and more, and, and in particular. Uh, more power to do and freedom to do what he wants to do with the program in terms of NIL and transfer portal. I think that's where you don't think he has that now. Not as much as he could, not as much as he could. Um, I I think, I think think he's no, especially with the branding of the block M, you know, like the the new administration has been really hesitant of, of of allowing the freedom with that. It's supposed to stay. It's not, not allowing the freedom that Harbaugh wants to, to give to his players to profit off the block M. Um, well, no, it's not profiting off the block rules. M. It's oh, profiting off of their own name, image, and likeness, not brand. Michigan. Well, that's what, that's what I'm talking about, the brand. I'm sorry, excuse me, the brand. And it, it's just, I, I I think that's, he wants more. He, he's trying to win on a higher level. He thinks this is the avenue. I think just like myself and I was saying, this is the opportunity. This is the opening to possibly start taking advantage of some of these things to get it to that next level. And I think he's trying to make sure he has all the tools and resources to be able to do that. I, I, because, and I said this, you know, I think last week or the week before, he will never find, like, he, he, has, he has the best job for him. Like, this is, he's got his respect back. Everyone loves him again on, on campus. He's a legend here as a player. He's finally delivered as a coach. His family's here. I believe his family was comfortable. His fa- his parents live here. I think and like er- everything's all good in the hood. <laughs> okay, so like I I just think it's going to be like it would take like a match made in heaven in the NFL to to draw him. And I just don't see the Oakland the Las Vegas Raiders as that. By the way, if the if, if you're the Raiders, based on the way their season is gone, let's say they win a playoff game, do you really not stay with your interim head coach? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, and that's an interesting thing too. Like, how many of these jobs actually want him or be a good fit? You know, like, and like, even for the Bears, people keep rumored him to the Bears. The Bears have been requesting interviews, and he ain't one of them. Right, and that, that's what I was gonna say is the the Bears season is over, the Michigan football season is over. So there's literally nothing keeping these two from meeting and having an interview. And if you try to tell me that there's some, you know, Harbaugh secretly flying to Chicago based on the people that are looking out for stuff like this, like the the Daxton Hill flight tracker, like that stuff on Twitter, like people are over the top when it comes to like searching for info like this and scoping things out. So I, so I don't think there's a way Jim Harbaugh is going to be able to secretly fly to Chicago. I don't think I. I don't think we we've heard anything world, about the bro. interview because I don't think it's happening and I don't think it's going to happen. So it, I, I just don't, I don't think that, that he's leaving because the, the interviews are being requested right now and are happening right now. So, I mean, there, yes, there's, there are some coordinators who are getting ready for playoff games. So those guys obviously can't interview because they're doing prep for a playoff game, but Jim Harbaugh season is over. So is the Chicago Bears season. So I, I don't understand why that interview wouldn't be happening right now, especially if this is a match made in heaven. Wouldn't you get the match made in heaven interview done as soon as you possibly could? It just seems odd to me, but I don't think it's I don't I just don't think it's happening. I think he's saying I think he's happy yeah, nah. because, it, you know, you, he's done so much to get the program to where it is now. And you finally get over the Ohio State Hill. You finally get win the big 10 you get to the college football playoff and you've got a five-star quarterback in tow and and now's the time that you're gonna make a move like i i just don't i don't see it i don't see it yeah i i I think i think the itch is there like i I, like i i I think i i think there is a interest in a a, a feeling of unfinished business in the NFL potentially there for him. Um, I'm not in, the, in that that quirky mind of his, uh, but I don't. I, I think overall he has everything that he wants. That mm-hmm. I, I think when you all weigh it down, like I'm not. I think it'll be 
you know, dishonest to say like, oh yeah, he has no interest. I mean, of course he has some interest of potentially playing, you know, coaching the NFL. It's the highest level of the profession, mm -hmm. right? But you know, all in all, I think he's really comfortable where he is. I do. Well, and I actually on the point of getting everything that he wants here, I actually do think he is is getting everything that he wants or needs uh, now. I could be wrong in that. But with NIL, stuff like that, because because if you remember around Thanksgiving, Blake Corum was was passing out turkeys that he purchased with NIL money. Right. Like and J.J. McCarthy had did. I can't remember exactly what he did, but he had donated his uh, some NIL money to charity. So it's happening. It may not be as public as, you know, the Bryce Young or Quinn Ewers deals were, but. It sounds like these guys are getting the NIL. I think, I think Harbaugh wants the ability to do a, a, a Quentin Ewers type deal. Like, I, I think he wants the ability to one day do but something. But see, that's not, from what I understand, that's not facilitated by, like, Ohio State didn't facilitate that. Like, Quinn Ewers, whoever his representation was, did that. So I don't think Ohio State got that for him. Because if that's the case, why wouldn't they get something for Stroud? He's a starter. You know what I mean? I, I don't I don't think it's I, I and maybe I am totally clueless on NIL, but it, I, from what I know, it's not facilitated by the school. So it's really not even something that Harbaugh has to worry about as far as obtaining. You know, obviously you want to help the kids out as far as, you know, managing your money. But even but now they can get agents. So, it's you know what I mean? Like there's not even it, it, it's not as if they need Harbaugh to go out and you know, broker these deals. He's not having to do that. True. So True. I, you know, I, I think they will be, I, I think he is getting what he needs um, as far as the NIL stuff. Now transfer portal, you might have a point because I haven't seen any type of communication when it comes to that. I know they got, I think a big defensive tackle recruit who's coming on uh, campus, I believe this weekend, but um, I don't know. That, you know, and that's the tough part with the transfer portal too. Unless these guys get in the portal and then go on like a an official visit, you'll never really know. So it's 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 kind of tough to call. But I mean, there there's a slew of guys in the transfer portal, quite a few. I mean, it's it's crazy seeing it on Twitter, just literally nonstop. And uh, I'm sure there's probably some hidden gems in there, but. Uh, you know, it, it, you're talking about updating and, and upgrading that that front seven. I mean, there there I'm sure there's at least a couple guys in the in the portal who could help you. So well, now I, I think what you know, part of uh, the, your recruiting coordinators or however you structure your staff, you also just you know how NFL teams have pro personnel scouting departments, mm -hmm. right? Now I think due to the transfer portal that. Uh, these power five programs, the big time programs, are going to have to now structure their staff to have like a a college personnel scout. You know, mm -hmm. like I like I I think that's the next step if they don't already do that. Like because I mean the, the way you see kids transfer now transfer nowadays, that's how you're going to know. Hey, well, we got to get this kid's available. You know, you almost got to like college football is becoming more and more like the NFL now, and um, that'll be you know because. I'll put it this way. If Michigan State, me as a Michigan fan, if, if Michigan State gets another kid like K-9 before we do, <laughs> I'm going to be ticked. <laughs> uh, I, I agree. I agree. Uh, and and the thing is, too, it, th there's guys out there. I mean, there's guys. <laughs> but they, I mean, it, it as of today, it doesn't seem to be a strategy, but the thing is, is you look at guys, I mean, the, the teams at high levels are going in and getting and getting really good players from the from the transfer portal. So if you want to if you want to compete with the high level teams, you've got you have to do those types of things. And like I said, it's you're you're going to bat for again for some of these guys that you tried to recruit out of high school. So you get to build on that relationship that you've already built. So, you know, I, obviously, you know, Alabama and Georgia just played, but, um, you know, we had Williams for, for Alabama, even their middle linebacker, Henry uh, To'o To'o, he was, was a transfer from Tennessee when they, you know, fired their coach and they had a mass exodus of talent. That dude was amazing at, at Tennessee and, and came in and played well for Alabama. And to me, there's no reason that 
those two use cases couldn't be applied at Michigan. They can absolutely get guys like that from the transfer portal. But you got to put your you you, you got to you know throw your your hat in the ring if you're going to try to get well, get some of these guys. The riches, you hear me? Right. You know, like <laughs> I don't I I don't care. I know we got JJ. I'll be completely honest. Like I had it for for a quick for a brief moment throughout the day at times. Some sometimes I'm like, you know what? I love JJ, but Caleb. Hey man, look, <laughs> <laughs> Caleb. <laughs> look, oh the man, in the playoff, you know, I said I saw what you did, the Oklahoma Sun. <laughs> Is this your you pitch there. to Caleb? We can get you there, and uh, <laughs> just a pretty, you know, wealthy uh, alumni. You get you with some nice businesses to really get you set up for in terms of being their spoke their sponsor person. So, hey man, look, I'm all about winning, and I and I think as fa- Michigan fans, you know, uh, Michigan's always pride themselves on Michigan man and tradition and loyalty and those who stay will be champions. And I think one thing that we have to get more used to in terms of today's landscape is that you have to be all in to win or not, all in to win or not. And mm-hmm. I no longer care about. Uh, uh, about you know, kids who are recruited for us, choose us from the beginning, and stay here the whole time. If you can play, son, you are welcome here at the University of Michigan. As long as you're not a bad, per- you know, you're not going to a Bears University off the field. Mm-hmm. But other than that, if you can play, you're signed. You're signed up. <laughs> Let's go win yep. some football games. Because yeah. at the end of the day, that's what matters. At the end of the day, 15 years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. You remember, you don't care about how many kids Michigan graduated. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, I'm talking about from a football program standpoint. Yeah. You about like you want it to win. happen, but that's and not so going to be the. You, yeah. You want it to happen, of course, but you know, come on, like it is, like you, you, so, and you have to be all in on that. That's all. Yeah, Steve, and mostly did, Noble that, said that. that uh, yeah. That, you know, could be wrong, but a lot of high level schools aren't living out in the transfer portal. And I agree with that. Um, you're you, it, it, the, the, the goal is not you you want to have your recruiting class, right? You want to get the best high school talent that's coming out of, of high school that you can. And then you want to sprinkle in one or two guys from the transfer portal. Excuse me. So it, it's not as if you're looking to get a, a, a mass exit or a, a mass overhaul of guys in the portal. You just want one or two guys that you, you know, have seen in the port or that you've seen play or think can play at a high level and bring one or two guys in. So I'm not saying, you know, to bring in 10, 15 guys from the portal because you only have a certain amount of scholarship. So you're you're already talking to high school kids that are graduating and coming into the program it's one or two guys that that you want to bring in that that can be a game breaker for you, you know, a K nine, yeah. a Jamison Williams, something like that. So yeah, yeah. And, and mostly you know, Noble said the same thing. Player, you should always be in player acquisition, uh, in a player acquisition phase, especially a really good player. If you think there's an opportunity in which you can, because you in in college football you're constantly cycling through youth, well they're all young, but you know I'm trying to say in terms of classmen, you know, youth to veteran. Freshman to veterans, freshman to veterans, freshman to veterans, right? And so to prevent extreme dips in your program success, you can use a transfer portal to kind of to, to kind of be that bridge of players who have some experience and they don't need that year or year and a half for seasoning, right? They can mm-hmm. you can plug and play right away. So no, you definitely don't want to live out there, but you definitely want to take advantage of it and not ignore it either. But I think about a, I, I think about That's a guy who who just got in the portal from Alabama and Drew Sanders. He's an outside linebacker, kind of a, a bit of a pass rusher. Michigan's losing two really, 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 really good elite pass rusher outside linebackers with you know Aiden and, and Ojabo. So it's it's th- like what you had just mentioned, Dre, with not having big dips, right? Because if if we come back next year and and we don't have anybody who can get to the passer, well things are going to look a lot different. So ideally, right. you'd like to be able yeah. to get somebody else in. And, and even if you have a, a freshman who's on campus now, but just isn't quite ready, that's when that transfer portal comes in where you get a guy who's ready to play today, get him on campus, get him in that defense, get him acclimated, and unleash him and, and let him rock and roll. 